This is question number one, and it asks us to solve the following inequality. So we're going to break this. We have part A and part B up on the board, so we're going to start with those. It says um, 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 4 plus 3x. So our goal here in this problem, we want to get all of our x's to one side and all of the terms without x to the other. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So that would give me, um, sorry, this is a plus. 5 minus 4, which is 1, is less than or equal to 3x minus 2x, which is just x. So it just says that x has to be greater than or equal to 1. And to write that as an inequality in um, interval notation, I have a bracket, 1, comma, positive infinity, parentheses. So that is part A. Part B is a little more complicated. It says negative 3 is less than 1 minus 2 times the quantity x minus 5, which is less than or equal to 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to work from the center and remember what we do to one side we have to do to every side. So my first step is going to be subtracting 1 from every side. And I get negative 4 is less than negative 2 times x minus 5, so this is equal to 4. So then I divide through by negative 2 for every term. And remember when I divide through by a negative or I multiply by a negative, I flip my sign. So this becomes 8 is greater than x minus 5, which is greater than or equal to negative 2. So then we add 5 to every side. Oh, sorry, and this is supposed to be a plus as well, sorry. So then, sorry, we subtract 5 from every side. And we get that 3, oh gosh, 3 is greater than x, which is greater than or equal to 7. So to write this in interval notation, oh, this is a negative. This is supposed to be a negative. So, negative 4 divided by negative 2 is 2, minus 5 is a negative 3. So we've got negative 3 is greater than x, which is greater than or equal to negative 7. So to write that, again, in interval notation, we would have bracket negative 7, comma, negative 3, parentheses, because we don't have an equal sign um, underneath that greater than. So that is the first two parts of question 1.